think you can teach me to do that, huh? Whoa! Megatron's right-hand man, Starscream, did this? Not impressed. Huh? Surely you can do better than that. If this barrier was so easily broken, no doubt you would have freed yourself all on your own. True, but Starscream knows that no prison can hold me forever. He's merely buying time for one of his insane schemes. And when I find out what it is... You leave our friends alone! What do you want with them? The same thing these freaky, shadowy government types always want. To round up aliens and dissect them. He'd really do that? You're mistaken. Well then, suppose you set us straight. I had to make contact. So, you're the one who captured our friends and their families. Those certainly weren't the circumstances that I would have preferred. I do work for the government, but my reason for contacting you is much more personal. Well, we're all ears now, big man. Don't keep us in suspense. The river. The Green River Rapids is where it all started for me. My father took me fishing there. I didn't realize how fast the water was until it was too late. Mikey! Mikey! Suddenly I saw someone. Just a shadow, really. It's all I could do to keep my head above the water. But I swear I could see this guy jump off the cliff and turn into a helicopter. Everyone thought I was just seeing things. But deep down, I knew what I'd seen was real. He was real. So I started my research. I read everything I could get my hands on. But the documents I really was dying to read were classified top secret. Top secret? So you joined the government. It was the only way to access the information you needed. Yeah, that makes sense. In the end, I became convinced that all UFO sightings were related to my quest. Yes, and you were right. It was those blasted monsters causing all that trouble. But those monster Decepticons back there wouldn't have rescued a human, would they? Oh, yeah! Sure, I remember now. You grew up! You're right, I guess I did. This sure has been a long time. But I guess I could finally say thank you. I guess that means you're one of the good guys then. Yeah, well, you could have said so in the first place. You know, I just don't get grown-ups. We seem to find friends in the most unexpected places. I'll say. I've been very strict about keeping our presence a secret, but we seem to find powerful allies wherever we go. Override from Speed Planet and Snarl from Jungle Planet, both who proved to be extremely vital to our mission. And to be perfectly honest, I'd hate to think where we would be without their help. And of course, there's Kobe, Laurie, and Bud from right here on Earth. They have been the most helpful of all. You can count on me. Me too. I'll help any way I possibly can. Well, that's good. Believe me, we need all the help we can get now that Starscream's disappeared with the Omega Lock. There's just got to be some way to track him. I'll put my team on it. Now, what can a girl do for fun around here? <laughs> hmm, now that looks like it might be good for a few laughs. Thunder Blast, transform! <sighs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> Let's make some waves. <laughs> huh? oh, hey! Ah, oh, the sun, the waves, the fresh ocean air. No sign of Starscream. But most speedboats on Earth don't come with missile launchers. Hey, where's my son? Ahoy there! I haven't seen you around here before. With lucky my son, you big goon! Excuse me! You spent 30 years in an ice cave and see how friendly you are! Oh, hey! You mean you're one of those escaped monsters? Hey, who are you calling a monster? But that's what I didn't mean. Oh. Sayonara, Mr. Buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> 
no doubt about it. She is a monster. Walk on that speedboat, Scattershot! I got her, Jetfire. Whoa, now that's some trick. Somebody put up a camouflage shield in the middle of the ocean, and I'm betting it's Starscream. <sighs> no fun in the sun for me. Hmm. Well, at least I didn't miss anything. Behold! The Cyber Planet Key of Earth! With this simple act, you shall witness the dawn of a new age. The Age of Starscream! Why now? Why the Omega Frequency? Let me kick in the emergency power source. It's the Omega Lock. The third key is in. Spark of Primus! Is that really the black hole, Optimus? I don't know. I'm kind of freaking out here, Optimus. What's going on? I'm scared. I honestly don't know, bud. All I know for sure is that we can't keep our mission a secret any longer. Wow! Glad I'm on his team. I can feel it! The spark of Primus. What's it like, Starscream? Nothing you can imagine. <laughs> well, I don't think that's the real black hole, just an image seen through the space bridge. So you're pretty sure the black hole isn't gonna turn us all into a cosmic smoothie? Oh, come on, Laurie, now you're just being silly. We look more like root beer anyways. What are you kids saying anyway? I don't think that's the case. That energy burst more than likely came from the space bridge, not from the black hole. Probably? Don't you have any data? Yes, hold on, Professor. I'm still trying to get the lights back on. There we go. What's the status? Well, the energy's definitely not coming from the black hole, but it's not coming from the space bridge either. It's coming straight from Cybertron. I think I have a theory. Vector Prime, do you mind lending me a hand? Of course. It's incredible. What have you found? You will recall, Optimus, that each time a cyber planet key was placed in the Omega Lock, it sent out a signal transmitted through the entire galaxy. That's right. But it wasn't anything like this. This time, something signaled back. You mean that energy is a signal? That's right. So the energy is a signal from outer space, huh? I bet it's a cure for all diseases. Or wait, a recipe for a batch of really good brownies. Perhaps we can decipher its code. But it's going to take some time. Then let us begin. Once more, Scourge. Freedom is within my grasp. They did it! I missed you, Ratsack. <laughs> hey, 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 don't hug him! I assume you'll take your revenge on Starscream. You know, I recall there's a human saying that revenge is a dish best served cold. So, the Cyber Planet keys then? Yes, of course. And then the traitor Starscream will pay dearly. I would like to come with you if I may. My eyes have been opened to worlds beyond my own. I suddenly yearn to see new sights, to experience all the universe has to offer. <laughs> and take your own personal revenge against Leo Breaker and Optimus Prime? We really do think alike, Megatron. <laughs> then onward, friend. To Earth! Yeah. It's not complete, but we've managed to assemble most of the message. Oh. 
It's Cybertron. A whole mechanical world. The Transformers' home planet. Are you homesick, Jolt? Huh? Oh, no, remember, I'm not originally from Cybertron. Wow, I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys that. I guess so. The Omega Lock! And the Cyber Planet Keys! Together? They go to Cybertron? Together? They go to Cybertron? That's where the message breaks down. Well, that's great, but what does it all mean? It means, Hotshot, we must bring the Cyber Planet Keys and the Omega Lock to the very core of Cybertron. Yeah, well, we know that, but what happens once we get them all there? I'm guessing that that's the part of the message that got cut off, Lori. So it's probably not a recipe for brownies after all. Brownies? Brownies? Would you forget about the stupid brownies? Relax, Kobe. What we need is a recipe to close that black hole. After everything we've been through, it feels like we're right back where we started. I know how you feel, Hotshot, but no matter what happens, we can't give up hope. Trouble, Optimus! What is it? It looks like Megatron. That's a pretty big warp gate. He must be bringing a whole crew with him. He's probably searching for Starscream. Good, let him wipe each other out. Except if Megatron finds Starscream, a whole lot of innocent humans can get caught in the crossfire. We can't stop Megatron, but maybe we can slow him down. Stasis beams locked on. Hurry it up, eh? Attention! There's a tornado coming this way! Evacuate the area immediately! Everyone's helping out, Optimus. The humans are out of danger. Scattershot, I want a camouflage shield around the warp gate. Let's keep this battle private. You got it. Autobots, roll out! The most important thing is to keep this conflict contained. I don't want anybody, Autobot or Decepticon, leaving the camouflage shield. Is that clear? I can't wait to hear Megatron what's coming to him. I'm glad they got the humans to safe. It means I don't have to hold anything back. As if we don't have enough to worry about. Most of Decepticons would take their squabble somewhere else. Vector Prime, we're in position. I'm opening the gateway. Here we go! Well, no time like the present. Let's go kick some Decepticon tail. Stay alert! We don't know how many Decepticons Megatron has. I'm just glad we're taking the shortcut to Niagara Falls. Let's keep watch outside the camouflage shield. Cool. Great. Hmm? This is planet dirt. Your clothes, it's called Earth. Ah, oh, yes, and here's the welcome wagon. Scourge? Greetings, Optimus Prime. You've allied yourself with Megatron. I can't say I'm surprised. That's new. The space bridge is unstable. Then you can see for yourself the danger we're in. That black hole will destroy everything in its path. We need to work together if we're going to survive. Why can't you see that, Megatron? <sighs> I have much more immediate concerns, Optimus Prime. You are here after Starscream. So you know. Then I see no need to continue this discussion. Farewell, Optimus Prime. I don't think so. Maybe I can't convince you to help save the galaxy, but I can't stop you from causing any more trouble here on Earth. You're not going anywhere, Megatron! I'll see to that. Who's interfering? I am! Save some for me! I got something for ya! Come get some of my stuff! Get back here! Want a race? They're leaving the shield! Defense! 
Defend yourself, traitor! Traitor? No, Mudflap! What is this? How could you? Now, this is as close as we can get. Keep a lookout for any Decepticons leaving the shield. What happened to you? Mudflap, you're no Decepticon! Landmine, listen, I... You know, you and me, we go way back. I don't want to hurt you, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Cyber key, power! Walk away, Landmine! Just walk away! Mudflap! Look at what you're doing here! I said walk away! What's wrong? Mm -hmm. I practically raised them. What? <laughs> My wife! What a last second game now! Man, that'll take your vengeance. Oh, thanks! Huh? Don't mention it. Oh, give me a break! Is it just me, or has she gotten slower? Yeah, maybe she's gotten soft hair on Earth. Earth roads are different. It's dangerous to go too fast. <laughs> oh, that's right, Black! Ah! Ah! Hey, that really is dangerous! Oh, you don't know the half of it. <gasps> Cyber Key Power! Here's how we do things on Earth, laughing boy! Moves. I know. Very well. If it's a beast war you want, then I'll be happy to oblige. To have one small one for your hour bracket. You can't win! Never! So predictable! Time to pack it in, Megatron! You must be joking! No jokes today! Optimus! Leo Breaker and Snarl are in trouble! We've got to get them out of there! The power! Something's wrong here. Pathetic. All right, now! Insufferable pest! Not so fast, Megatron! Missile storm! Got him! Gee, Megatron, who's the pathetic one now? Insolent worms, you will pay! What in blazes? That looked like a new cyber key. It was! Let's hope it went to someone on our side. <laughs> A new Earth Cyber Kit. How wonderfully perfect! <gasps> A brand new weapon. A gift from the Cyber Planet Key of Earth. You should feel honored. And now... Goodbye. Ha 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 
What? Scatter shot. Red alert. Hot shot. Of the Decepticon.